Hi, you're listening to Get Site Control Insider, a monthly podcast for e-commerce brands. In this episode, we'll talk about 15 ways to increase sales in your online store. From email marketing to SEO and personalization, we'll walk you through each tactic to help you brainstorm your strategy. Getting an e-commerce store up and running is only the first step to launching a business. Now you need to establish strategies to increase sales. The good news is, it isn't as difficult as you might think. It certainly doesn't require you to burn yourself out in the process. More often than not, it's a combination of small techniques working together to help you reach your revenue goals. Here are 15 ideas to get you started. Number one, build an email list. The first one is a biggie. Sure, It may seem like a daunting task at first, but there are countless ways to build an email list for your store without reinventing the wheel. When you build a tribe of loyal customers, you're checking off several critical tasks. You're retargeting people who are already interested in your products. You're getting permission to send promotions without having to pay for ads on social media. And you're creating a community. Email works so well because your customers choose to opt in to hear more from you instead of getting targeted by paid ad promotions. Plus, you have full control over your email list, whereas you don't own social media platforms. To start collecting subscribers, you can use opt-in checkboxes at checkout, or you can display a pop-up email form after a customer spends some time in your store. Want to build your email list faster? Offer a sign-up incentive, like a 10% discount, a product sample, or free shipping. Number two, implement a solid email marketing strategy. The obvious next step to building an email list is to make it an integral part of your marketing strategy. Now, here's the tricky part. You could choose to send the same newsletter to every subscriber, but that information might not be relevant to all of your audience. Instead, Segment your subscribers according to their actions and interests. For instance, when asking visitors to confirm their subscription, you could add checkbox options to get an idea of the product category they're interested in and the types of promotions they'd like to hear about. When you segment your subscriber list, you can send newsletters and promotions that are more relevant to each group. This way, your audience will be more likely to engage with your brand and remain subscribed. Number three. Use scarcity tactics. Nothing gets the blood pumping more than scarcity. If your product seems to be available in limited supply, or if a sale is only available for a short time, your visitors will be more likely to buy from you now. Here are a few easy ways to use scarcity. You can host a flash sale. You can add a countdown timer whenever you're offering a special deal. You can let customers know how many items of each product are left. Or you can offer free shipping for a limited time. Number four, upsell your customers. When your store visitors add an item to their cart, you could celebrate that fact and do a happy dance. Or you can offer an upsell. Online stores that offer upsells get up to 70% of their revenue from upsells and renewals. That's a huge amount of revenue you're missing out on if you don't implement this tactic. The best moment to offer an upsell is right on the product page after a customer has added it to cart or in the shopping cart during checkout. To implement this tactic, you can use dedicated apps or even upsell pop-ups. Number five, optimize your store for mobile. People love shopping on their phones and that trend is on the rise. In 2022, over 40% of e-commerce sales in the U.S. are expected to happen on mobile devices, compared to only 36% in 2019. The stores that don't provide a frictionless mobile experience end up missing a lot of opportunities and money. So, if you want more sales, make sure your website is user-friendly for all platforms. Optimize your category and product pages for mobile and incorporate mobile-first payment options. Number six, use SEO plugins. Optimizing your e-commerce store for search engines will increase your organic traffic, especially if you manage to rank on the first page of Google for a given keyword. And who doesn't love free traffic? 
If you're tempted to run away at the mention of SEO, I get it. SEO is a beast to tackle. But guess what? You don't have to be an SEO wizard to start optimizing your store. SEO for e-commerce stores isn't really that time-consuming, and you can choose among plenty of great apps to simplify the process. Some are paid and some are free, but ultimately, these tools are mostly affordable and will provide a great ROI when used to their maximum potential. Think of it this way. Every time someone lands on your website via an organic search, you're saving on paid promotions. If you are a complete newbie and need guidance, we have a detailed article to help you optimize your store for search engines. You'll find it in the description to this episode. Number seven, minimize cart abandonment. Cart abandonment is a splinter in every e-commerce store owner's foot. If you're seeing a large number of abandoned carts in your store, you're not alone. As a matter of fact, a 60 to 80% abandoned cart rate is the industry's average. I know, it may leave you feeling helpless, but there are actually several efficient ways to minimize or even prevent cart abandonment. For starters, you can use exit intent surveys to find out why the customers leave without purchasing. Then, you can go ahead and optimize your checkout flow based on the responses you receive. Some customers might need a different payment option. Others might be concerned by the lack of customer reviews or security badges on your website. Whatever the reason is, Surveys are a surefire way to find out and fix it. You can also use exit intent pop-ups to offer your customers a discount if they change their mind and complete the checkout. Number eight, showcase your top selling items. What does your e-commerce homepage look like right now? In many stores, homepage looks like just another category page or worst, contains no information about products at all. Think of it this way. If that's where most of your customers land, it's the first thing they will see. It's your one chance at a first impression. By showcasing your best-selling items, you'll make a great first impression and give a starting point for your visitor's shopping spree instead of overwhelming them with all of your existing product choices. Plus, these products are best-selling for a reason. Leverage their power to entice all the newcomers. Number nine, integrate Instagram. With a monthly active user base of over 1 billion people, Instagram provides a wide open window for sales opportunities. If your business belongs to one of Instagram's supported markets and complies with their commerce policies, you can create shoppable posts, link back to your store from the bio, invite followers to join your list, and even provide sales support. Another way to integrate Instagram is to add your feed to your e-commerce site directly. This will encourage social engagement from your visitors, and and even if they don't buy during their first visit, they might follow you and come back later. Number 10. Display your reviews. Did you know 70% of customers use online reviews to inform their purchases? If you're not featuring reviews in your store, you're losing out on a huge chunk of potential income. Here are two ways to get started. First, ask your customers to rate your products sometime after they receive them. Don't assume they'll do it themselves. Instead, create a separate email asking for a review and add it to your post-purchase email sequence. Another way is to reach out to some of your most loyal customers, those who have repeatedly bought from your store, to ask for a testimonial. Testimonials differ from reviews because they're not necessarily related to a specific product. They can build trust in your brand as a whole and recommend the overall experience of shopping on your site. Number 11. Implement a live chat. Imagine this. Your visitor needs to know if your clothing is true to size before picking which size they'd like to buy. To get in contact with you, they need to click on your contact page copy your email, open up their email app, and type out their question in an email. That's a lot of steps, and you're taking your visitor away from your store, which might end up costing you the sale. This isn't just speculation. 77% of customers won't make a purchase on a website if there's no live chat option, according to the latest research. Meanwhile, if you have a live chat tool implemented directly on your website, your visitor can stay right on the page and interact with you or your customer service rep without additional friction. It's a win-win situation. Number 12, 
Use A-B testing. How do you know what works best and what doesn't work at all when it comes to conversions and sales? The short answer is that you don't. The only real way to figure out what works is by testing your options. A-B testing is an effective method to do that. It allows you to put two different ad headlines, product descriptions, page layouts, and other elements against one another to see which one performs better. When you understand what works better, you can iterate improvements to your store's experience. The better the experience, the more likely your customers will come back to buy from you again. Number 13. Retarget your visitors on social media. More often than not, first-time visitors on your store browse for a while, then leave without making a purchase. Although that's part of the reality of having an e-commerce store, it doesn't mean you can't do anything to win them back. That's where visitor retargeting comes in. For example, using a Facebook pixel, you can detect who has visited your site and whether they made a purchase. From there, you can target your paid social media ads towards these people. If a visitor left your store but clicked on a certain product, you can promote this product to them on social media and offer them a limited-time discount. If someone filled up their cart and left, you can call this out specifically and offer them a bonus if they complete their purchase. Here's the deal. Customers might not buy from you the first time they interact with your brand. They might not buy the second time either. But the more exposure they get to your store, the more likely they are to eventually buy something from you. And making that first purchase is the first step to becoming a repeat customer. That's important because it's so much easier to retain existing customers than to acquire new ones. Number 14, provide multiple payment options. Mobile wallets like Apple Pay, Amazon Pay, Samsung Pay, and Google Pay are becoming a new normal. If you aren't providing your customers, primarily those shopping with their mobile device, with at least some of these options, you might be leaving money on the table. The last thing you want is for your customers to give up their purchase because their preferred payment option is unavailable, right? So make sure to include the most widespread payment methods for e-commerce and always pay attention to your customers' requests and complaints about this. Number 15, use personalization. Personalization is a big thing in e-commerce. Personalized messages come across as more heartfelt. They can make people feel special, noticed, appreciated. That's exactly how you want your customers to feel. There are many ways to add personalization on different levels of your marketing campaigns, including emails, ads, entire landing pages, and even website pop-ups. For example, on a free shipping bar, you can display a visitor's location, current date, or even their name if they're returning customers. But don't think this is just a nice tactic to make you or your customers feel good. According to Epsilon, 80% of consumers are more likely to purchase from a company offering personalized experiences. There you have it. 15 tactics that will boost your e-commerce sales without burning you out. On its own, each of these tactics is quite effective. However, when implemented together, they're rocket fuel for your e-commerce sales. And using tools like Get Site Control pop-ups makes many of these tactics effortless. Check out the description to find templates for email signup, sales, and card abandonment pop-ups, as well as guides to implementing them on your website. Well, that's all for today. Thank you for listening. Until next time.